Hello and welcome to the Spring 2021 campaign. It is a new season by Nadeo themselves. We have 25 fresh looking maps right here. And we're going to do a never be seen before speed run through them. So it could be, I don't know how long it's going to take us. Could be an hour, could be two hours. Let's find out. We are joined by JMJ. Which hello. isn't going to say anything. Oh, hello. And Mr. Uvo. Hello, and hello. Mr. Paul Mull. Hi. Before I start, consider subscribing if you're new. It does help out. And check out uh, myself on Twitch. It is just simply Nick. Easy as. Let's do it. I'm ready when you guys are. All good to go? Yep, ready. Yep, I'm ready. Ready. Three, two, one. I'm in. Let's do it. Let's go. <sighs> it's time. So it is a new campaign. There is a... Uh, we get one of these per every three months, as you can see, obviously, by the spring campaign there. We do have a very long loading time going into this. I'm not sure if any of you guys are already in. I'm in. <laughs> I'm over I'm in. in. I'm, I'm, in. Voice, I'm in. Let's do it. All right, we have a straight, literally a straight to the next checkpoint. That's interesting. Oh, Oop, my. I've missed the first jump. Yeah, so I'm we are <laughs> going to go for the that author is. medals. For those who don't know, there are four different medals. Uh, there is bronze, silver, gold, and author, which is a green Hang medal. Wait, wait, wait. We know this, what. This yeah, we familiar. know something like ooh, that looks like this. This really is for me. <laughs> <laughs> is this the April Fool's joke? Is this what they were planning all along? So, for those okay, who maybe. I got the medal on there, one. Nice. I got him as well. I'm the one that should be getting it right here. Those who don't know what this is, this is the Trackmania Nations Forever. Hey, there's an update available. One. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought there may be, but hopefully we should last, be good. Go. <laughs> right. I'll get it next time. So we are doing a blind speedrun as the release of this game is... or well, the release of this new campaign is coming out. We have not seen these maps before. And uh, hopefully they're going to be good. So we have seen from previous campaigns that uh, they do have a similar style for every map. Um, the first two here, though, look kind of different to what we've had so maybe that's looking good for a uh, bit of variety compared to maybe last season and the one before it um, so far it's looking a lot different from what the originals are yeah that's what i mean like it's really looking like we could have some fresh new maps here couldn't load record Wow, really so simple different. map so far. Oh, that was a bit of loading. Free is not ice. What? Ooh, so that was something which I was about to say. So with the similarity, we um, for example, with three here in all the previous campaigns, they have been ice, but now we have a dirt map here. So finally, maybe looking like there's going to be a bit of variety. Which is good to see. I think the maps would have got slightly, uh, maybe not boring, but very repetitive if um, they kind of kept doing the similar style per map. So that is something to look forward to in this new campaign. And uh, obviously we had uh, road, then we had grass and dirt, so maybe the next one's going to be ice. We're going to kind of go through each style and see how it all works. As I fail to, well, I do improve my time by 2,000 per second there, but that is not enough to get all the metal. So we have to go it again. Says I have world record. Yes, I think happy. everyone has world record, so. No, 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 I do. I do. No else. I do. No, I do. No, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Nip it. So this one looking like it has a very difficult gear. Gears are very, uh... Uh, what's the word? You gotta look out oh, for controlling wow. your gears on dirt, really, uh, to keep the speed falling through. And on this first one, I'm really struggling. I'm not sure if you guys did. Number three yeah, is yeah, I'm still struggling kind of hard to get off it, for you. Yeah, the author on Neo 3 is pretty tough. As I'm not improving just yet. Yeah, one and two were easy. Three is not so far. Oh, 
Oh, these gears, mate. So you can play oh, this. Oh, you don't want to uh, hit the sand either. Yeah, yeah. I'll just try it. Uh, you can play this game with pretty much everything. I mean, you can even play with a mouse. I'm playing with a controller. There is only four controls. Um, but with controller, you can see something called a smooth steer, where you really hardly even steer, and it will give you a little bit of speed gain. Still so not? It is a small improvement, but I have not got enough yet. Whoever said the author on 1 and 2 did not set the author on this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, not looking good, ladies and gentlemen. So, soft in the map? Speed running. We are trying to speed run it, but it's looking like this is going to be a pain because this gear is not good. So a lot of beginners ask how to control your, your gears on dirt. I don't have the answer to that, but just try and have the sound up a little bit and uh, try and try don't corner and um, it uh, will help quite often when you change your gear. But um, it can be difficult Maybe in maps like this. Maybe you do want to take this. the sand for one of these spots. And then no steer everything else. So as you can see, I, I started turning when a gear change was there and I lost so much time. Dude, the S-Bend is so weird. 22-0, still not offer. So I tried some smooth steering. Steering. Yeah, I fell off the corner. It, it, it shouldn't be a requirement that you have to know steer. I'm just doing it because it can be very helpful. But, um, I've just been told 777 is an orth medal on this, which I am 0.1 away. That's not I got him. Fun. I got a 2175 one. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to gain by a lot here. So you really just got to keep that gear. As you can see, I get a 0.65 and that will definitely be enough. So that chicane there is, uh, or the S bend is very, very crucial on that one. So will we see some harder author times? I'm not really sure. I think that was just very tough to control the gear there. And that was uh, why that one made it so difficult. But we move to another map and it's again dirt so it is the spring campaign a lot of people thought that with the winter campaign for example there would be a lot of ice and there was a line there was a fair amount of ice but definitely not all ice maps oh that's uh that's an interesting corner there <laughs> with the signs yeah, there was also kind of yeah full on the signs wait is there no checkpoint here wait Seems like no checkpoint. Possibly cutting. I'm not sure if you could get up there. But uh, for those who maybe don't know, you can do any checkpoint in any order as long as you get them all, and then you can find a finish line. Um, I feel like there might be some trickeries, some around this map. But yeah, this seems a bit basic. This map. I'm not really sure what's up with that. There is a bit of an airtime uh, between the grass and that uh, black surface asphalt. So you can initiate a drift by um, by that little bit of airtime, which I will try and do right now. It is a little bit tough off of the grass, but it can set you into a slide there, which is really helpful. That's clear. So Gold. To the final U turn. Very, very tough. Is this enough? Let's find out. It is indeed. Only Here we go. We will move to the next map. Is James Only just and beat Paul. Three. Oh, well, Paul's moved. Jay, are you on the number three still? I'm I am still on number three. I'm n I have absolutely no idea how to keep my gear on the chicane. Yeah, it's um, very, very dude, tough. partial steering. It's, that really helps. It's really in that second part of the S bend. You gotta make sure that's you don't steer there. Anyway, let's uh, move on to number five here. So the final one of the easy campaign, as I do miss a checkpoint, but we'll pretend we got that. Moving into the end, which is just looking like an upside down finish. 
maybe some people don't know what this green booster is, it's a reactor, uh, which gives you a boost, and depending on the direction, it will uh, either float you into the sky or push you oh. into the ground, which, like that for example, means you can build it upside down, which is a lot of fun in this new game. But we have this is looping weird. here, which uh, maybe has a possible cut, I'm not sure. Let's find out if this is enough for Orth time. It is indeed. You get some extra bonus trophies, which uh, is your rank, or gives you your rank overall, um, as an incentive to try and get those Orth times. And if okay, you're I'm only skipping uh, A O three, jumping into A O four. That like I've gotten these next two, not not too difficult, and then there was just three, which was very tough, very very weird. Um, so yeah, those are, will give you extra trophies depending on what, uh, which ones you got through the campaign. So if you only got all bronze there, you will get a trophy for it, but do try and get those all the times if you can. Okay, so we seem like we have a bit of a tech track here with some sausage blocks for the first in the blue series, and you'll see that these progressively get a little bit harder throughout. So we have a long long no uh, engine block which uh, means you cannot accelerate for the entire ending there. That's going to be fairly interesting. There was some fancy skips in some maps where it really changed the times because you could cut the entire thing. But at first thoughts, doesn't look like you can cut that one. So this one is going to require a very tight drift. And then into the finish line is enough. It is indeed. So definitely crucial that uh, second last corner there, I reckon. Let me take a quick sip. Ah, as we move on to number seven. Let's find out what this has. Oh my god. We're on five right now. So we have some still on four. Grass, some bump or sausage blocks, and then that was a slow motion block there. Mm, number four is going to be really annoying in matchmaking. Seems like you can get like a the gear in the loop. Or is that uh, acceleration penalty on the first bump? Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I got it twice. <laughs> oh no. So if you land on your back wheels, then be oh, careful, no. I guess. So, for those who don't know, the acceleration penalty, it is something that when you hit a wall, it will slow your engine down for a little while. But it, we have seen that it's quite inconsistent, unfortunately. With landings like that, you can get quite wrecked by it, unfortunately. Uh, the majority of players do not like it. I do not like it at all. Um, but the day of themselves do, so... We just have to deal with it. As we do get another off time there, make sure you head to the left to get that extra boost on the side. Which will definitely help in slow mode. Map number 8, it's very nice notorious for some special maps here, but let's see if this is going to be a special map on this one. We have an ice downhill at the start, which is fancy, but doesn't really seem too tough from first try. Oh, we have a bit of a wall ride. I thought we were going to get freewheeling there as well, but it's before the checkpoint, which means it resets. And we have one final straight. Are we going to get all the time first try here? Oh, oh we, there was a tighter finish. And that is actually all for time first try. That's good to see. What a gamer. That map, I think I got a little bit lucky, but I do like uh, some more flow-worthy maps. Still on four. Sad. That's all right. I think I got a bit lucky on some of these. <laughs> so we have uh, another dirt map now, which uh, in the previous campaigns, this was also a dirt map. So maybe just the first five are different? We'll have to find that out. Um, All free will. Very extreme here oh. with some tilted blocks. 
and then we have very some special. nice very special people all right we're on to five let's go tilted style Who walks and then a fresh full speed ending just missing out on the gold there or oh, just getting the gold i think we just missed the walk time so this is actually looking like a nice map i think Um, there is something which I will show you guys as well, coming up past this section. Okay. So there is something here which you can do called a zigzag, and that will give, give you slightly more speed. It is a little bit difficult to control sometimes. And what was that exit? That's very unlucky. But I think it's enough for fourth middle, as we beat it by two and a half seconds, that's a lot. On to the next map. Five is weird. You've literally just spoiled it by saying Six that, Six is Eddie. also what weird. Fuck, man. Whoa, we go into cam three straight away, as we have a chicane uh, star. Oh, it seems no, like you is can that pretty eight? much just go straight. No, this isn't even eight. This is what you would expect on eight. This is number ten. Oh. So the final of the blue series here. Way around reactor block. We're getting nose glides a lot oh, on the no. map number six. Oh no, there's some reactor shenanigans with down jumps. That's gonna probably have some insane zoop. So we might talk about some zoops later on. It is where Can you get some extreme like speed out of those reactor jumps. Um, but probably not gonna get any in this playthrough definitely something to look out for in some of the records as we get a bronze and you can see by getting all bronze you get that bronze trophy which i was talking about earlier how the fuck what map are you on Nuvo? six you yep. have this outside pole line it's so tight <laughs> i'm just starting six now let's see what you're talking about how about you jay where are you at at six, jumping okay, to cool. seven. Nice. Those are some weird poles, man. Oh, shouldn't have break. Really much. are, yeah. I thought it was a little bit tighter the than that. The greatest track many naps, number nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I had to go. <laughs> I think. Oh, that's only gold, so we have to go again. So definitely breaking and before that And that's not offer yet. Oh, that's not the way no. to go. can probably uh, do this start quicker, but just for the sake of this run, I'm going to go for a small drift. We lose the gear there, but we'll just continue This wide line is probably not worth it. And number seven is hard. Oh no! That's not great. Let's continue. I think this should be enough. Let's hope. Because that's a good angle following through. Avoid the trees. You can probably go through here, but it might waste a little bit of time. That was pretty much equal. And that's not enough over. We go again. So, definitely some Please, crucial parts in this you. map. Um, Let's offer. We'll be looking for keeping your speed in drifts like this, for example. Keeping a gear on this one. Definitely going to be crucial. Maybe some smoother Another steering bump. can also gain a little bit of extra speed, but for the sake of our first try, we can just do it pretty simply as we go up this hill. Yeah, this turn, I will get a bit of air time with that band line. Hopefully we haven't wasted too much time. The uh, Hitting the grass, the dark grass, will waste a lot of speed, so you might want to avoid that in most cases. Um, other than small cutting for corners. But we have managed to get the off time there as we progress to the third level of maps. Six is weird, but I like I like six. I think most maps so far are looking pretty good. Most of them. There's a few weird sections, and I'm very worried about that uh, slowdown uh, that Jay talked about. That's a bit scary. <laughs> Hopefully it could also be that I just got like really unlucky and my like uh well um 
And Nose just decided to jump up higher. <laughs> just J things. And just J thing, yeah. We I'd like to just show my booty to this guy. 211, which. Oh no, it has these buggy ramps. <laughs> Those are known to be very buggy. Uh, but I what I was going to say is there's a notorious map 11, which was nighttime and full speed with a reactor and a really odd start. But that is definitely not the case here, as we have another dirt map. So maybe dirt being a lot more key in this spring campaign. Um, but I'm so glad that that reactor zooping and stuff is eliminated here because I absolutely hated it. I bet it's map 12. Yeah, it would be funny if they just moved it one back. Yeah. Yeah, you can see that those two ramps weren't connected there if you look really closely. And there's a severe gear there. Whoa, this this is going to be a rough map, I think. As you can see how much speed I get there. Jesus. You can go very wide on those banked corners and gain a bit of time, but I'm um, not sure if it's going to be worth it in this case. And I didn't get to all the time, so we go again. So I think Ooh, these author times will definitely be a little bit harder uh, moving forward. Other than map 3, um, I think the first few should be quite simple. And also something to think about is trying, in some cases, like at the start there, you want to get a little air time and that will save couple milliseconds which in this game are definitely key as you can see I still don't have the off time there jeez this is gonna be a bit of a rough one so they've stepped it up for the blue series here Wait, is it blue or green I always get them mixed around green is the second one so it is blue so far I'm actually kind of enjoying the maps yeah oh I... god there's a there's a risky way I'm liking the map so far, but it's only early days. As I think I'm going to struggle a bit here, I'm not very good at keeping gears on this one so far. Can you use the black transitional road? I, I don't think so, but definitely maybe. I'm using the ramps because it doesn't look like it's a better option, but there we go. It is a little bit faster. And it looks like you keep the gear with that, so look how much you can gain by finding some more things like that. But I lost the gear immediately and lose all my time save. Let's restart and go again. Bit of wow. a shit one for me here, but we have worked it out. So we should get it on this attempt, I think. So we are so far in front right now. Look how much that gains. And going that wide to it, I was talking about. And I think that's a pretty good time. Next map. Still getting first in the world. We are, we have gotten a world record on every single map, ladies and gentlemen. How good is that? Wow, you're such a gamer. <laughs> so we have a. Uh, I also got world record start. on every map, and no, I no, did no, it no, after no. you. So no, 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 no. Must have That's taken it off you. <laughs> oh, I think it is, <laughs> mate. <laughs> Alright, so we have a bit of a open map here. With some reactors everywhere. Gotta go a bit higher, lower, and then a final drift with the poles. Slow mode ending, just cause, why not? Definitely not enough for what? but let's try again. Map number nine reminds me a bit of a map that I've seen on the on the uh, map review server. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying that it's uh, the quality of 
beginner players. No way. That's not an Odeo campaign. Odeo campaign is full of quality. <laughs> yep. <laughs> hint of oh. sarcasm in no, 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 no. Maybe yeah, they yeah, 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 yeah. took the idea uh, from, like, map review. <laughs> <laughs> took a random map from that. Nobody's gonna <laughs> notice. <laughs> nah, I can definitely tell the Nadeo style still in these, but I think there's a lot more... The Some of the mappers which aren't employed from Nadeo themselves uh, definitely have a bit more freedom this... Uh, this time around by looks of it. So there are maps by Nadeo, but then there's some uh, good mappers in the community which have made some maps as well. Can't tell you which one's which, but maybe you can work it out by some quality. As we do manage to get the off time, it was a bit shaky in the middle there. But definitely key to get a good drift and going over the grass as little as possible so you don't waste time. But let's move on to this one. So we have our first nighttime map, I think. I don't think there's been any nighttime maps until now. Have one of these tilted dirt blocks. Starting to see some of the more different blocks in this game. As we have a no engine. Massive jump. I wonder if you can avoid that as well as we get this transition horribly, so we're not even going to be able to get this jump. Wow. That's not going to be fun for matchmaking, so... Uh, uh, that's so fast on 10, <laughs> with the reactors. <laughs> right there, mate. This is why we are joined um, by some I guess. amazing people. Okay, the immediate, like, ramp up on difficulty on Blue series. Yeah, yeah, you can tell these are have definitely gotten slightly harder. Oh, we have freewheeling for this full loop as well. And you get the reset through Whoa. that ring. What's going to be next? Oh, there is a finish. Is this enough for author? It is indeed. So, definitely the crucial part is keeping your speed on that grass uphill on that map. So let's move on to 14, actually getting through these quite quickly. The um, I will leave the previous speedruns in the, the description, but uh, the winter campaign took an hour and a half. But we haven't, I guess, got to some of the longer maps yet. I'm gonna... Oh, I don't want to take bets at how long the last map's going to be. It was a minute 30 in the previous campaign, which is quite long, especially for maybe some beginner players. I know a lot of people struggle with the off time as we have a very AO8 style S map here, which is interesting. Which AO8? Um, last season's with the tilted corners. Ah. There's a very similar style. It's also grass. Oh. And that finish placement is scary. Where are you guys at, by the way? How are you feeling? What are your thoughts on this campaign um, so actual far? eight. <laughs> actually. I'm on uh, 10. 11. Speed. Oh! I had too much speed in my crash meter. Because I feel like I might be pushing a little bit too much to get the other metal here. They're not easy. They've definitely stepped it up as soon as you, <laughs> you go through them. I'm worried about the next step. It's going to be maybe quite tough. So we don't yeah, have the greatest run here. Get, like, Let's keep going. What? Let's go? Okay. Probably yeah, that got out of me. He used those, like, bucket ramps in the uh, 11. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised that they've used that. So those are ramps. I mean, 11. that's a safe route, I think, for the, like, the full response. Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. Um, but those aren't official blocks. They are something called items, which, um... Oh, that was actually all time. I think that was going to be good enough. Um, so there are your normal block set, and then items which you can either make or there are some official ones, like the trees, they're in the item set. But we have number 15, which starts Burger with King's some Club ice, Buses. and guess what boys, we have fog <laughs> in this campaign. Fog, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what did you say, Yuba? I didn't miss it. I was too busy talking about fog. <laughs> Oh no, what did I do? Oh no. 
I've been baited, boys. <laughs> Sag. Well, that's for the video. I don't know what happened. The streamer doesn't know, as always. But let's continue. There is Fog. How good. We love Fog. Stop thinking. It's the last it's thing you want. Missed. Number nine. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Why did I choose to play with you guys? <laughs> 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 so, we have a bit of a tough drift start here. I'm gonna use the source block. Go for a counter steer that. Trying not to avoid the gear which I just got. Oh, that's not the placement which you want, but it works. And some. Um, reactor boost into a sausage looping, which. We've never seen being used in this game because they are horrible to play. And as you can see, I'm trying right now. I got lucky in the first one while Yuvo was making his joke I didn't hear. But you can see how difficult it is to control on this fucking sausage loop. So this could either be a make or break on the speedrun because I could be stuck at this transition for half an hour. Just cut it. I did try and cut at that end bit, but... They are, they did add those poles there. Lucky it is only 16 seconds in, but, oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? Why would they use this block? I'm so mad. <laughs> so we'll just continue and pretend that this might be all the time, even though it's definitely not going to. Maybe author also crashed into the side because the author knew how bad those blocks are. So it is 41.2, and it's only gold, so definitely not. Um, let's try again. So, I'm so glad that these sausage loopings haven't really been a thing in a lot of maps. Um, but they have finally arrived. Someone was obviously having a giggle. Maybe this is their April Fool's joke. Who knows? As this campaign has arrived on April Fool's. Yeah, man, the, that block will be gone next, uh, tomorrow. <laughs> Imagine. The whole campaign will be gone tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Yeah, so it's actually good maps <laughs> right now, but then it's bad maps tomorrow and in the actual release. Bait it. Yeah. Uh, uh, you thought is... it was going to be good? It's like... Uh, this is definitely what we've been given. I am so surprised that there is this sausage block here. Because um, you can see I that I got lucky in my first sausage, attempt. There's a sausage loop in um, the training campaign. What's that? I, I think. Remember. And Actually, it has a pole at the top of it. You don't drive it though, if that's the case. Yeah, I don't yeah, remember do. driving it. But uh, it was a while ago, so. Uh, maybe I'm going crazy. I'm pretty sure there is. There's a sausage loop with poles at the top of it. In the campaign. In like the training maps. Wasn't that just a regular loop? Oh. It's a normal loop? Yeah. Is it just normal? Yeah, yeah. And it has poles in it, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's a normal loop, so you can actually control it. Unlike this, where you just gotta hope that you don't bonk into the corner. Oh, that's what I'm oh, thinking. Oh my I fucking poles god. In it. I've was really, really enjoying this campaign so far, and I've come to a dead halt on this one. That's a real shame, in my opinion. I don't know why they've used this walk. It's a really sad situation here. To be fair, the last time I played that that training map was also at 4 a.m., but it was like as of course nine months ago. on our bad run we make it, but then we slam ourselves straight into the next section. Oh, jeez. Oh That's a reactor. So, we were on a good pace for a speedrun, blind speedrun, but uh, we've been absolutely wrecked on this one. I've kind of... It's kind of a mood killer, in my opinion. I was really enjoying myself, but then this one's a bit of a joke, in my Too opinion. Too much sausage. 39.7. So, definitely need to get it smooth. You can see that there is a uh, a transition right before that ice, which seems like if you do get 
the loop somehow, you will probably get the speed for that transition, but... Here we go. Getting it in the first place is annoying. So maybe someone will find out how to do these consistently, but at the time of recording, Wait. I absolutely hate this. I really, really hate this. This is a real shame in my opinion. There is no loop cam in uh, on 12 with the reactor boost. Um, nice. Oh, was that the one with the reset block after it? The free one? Yeah. Oh. Wait. I must you take the reactor it. boost immediately up to the wall. Oh, it might be different. I'm focusing on trying not to bump into the sides here and I can't do it. <laughs> smells like... So we might um, give this one two more minutes, um, and then I might just skip Fake in the case lost. we don't get lucky. Oh! I am... I don't really care about this map. You guys know what to do. Get this drift with that counter seer. Ex uh, full send all the way through here, and then just hope that you don't crash on this part. Ah. Oh. This what is, is number 13? This is really bad. I don't know why they were doing this. That's a real shame. So you can see the uh, gear on this ice is very key. Um, you can uh, accelerate um, and break to kind of control yourself on ice for those who struggle with some of those kind of Sections as we finally get it. Are we gonna make this move? Not even quite as smooth as I hoped but Let's just continue if this is not all the time. I'm just gonna skip It is 2.9 seconds head which will be enough you can see how much slower it is not getting it or bumping into the side with that speed penalty so, not a fan of that map. Not a fan. So, really good campaign up until 15. Um, let's just move on and ignore that map. That is a real shame in my opinion. I don't know why they used that block. I don't know why they added it in the first place. So, I guess because they hadn't used it before, they wanted to use it there. But let's move one of, on to one of my the second uh, hardest difficulty. ideas involved that block, but it didn't end up working the way I wanted it to. Well, as like a bit of a lol map or something, it's fine. But that kind, that rest of the map was perfectly fine. It was just real. If that was a normal looping, that would be one of the best maps in the campaign, I think. It's. Yeah, I, I don't know why they used it. Anyway, let's continue here. We have some lots of poles on this one. Um, which is interesting. If I'm going to use the grass to slide, and we have a classic chicane, which. Ooh, and a jump. Which we do make. Nice jump into the transition, and then to the finish line. I'm near bronze. We did respawn a few times. Let's continue. I'm on 13 now. I'm on 11. What about you, Jay? Number 14. You don't have to talk like the dude every fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I crashed because of you. <laughs> <laughs> no. What is that? Alright, so... That uh, jump, you gotta make sure you're a little bit further left. Oh, jeez. That's a but wacky, wacky a map. Through here is definitely going to be the key on this one. Did lose the gear. That's not what you want. But we'll continue. Get that drift all the way through. Chicane isn't too hard. But I do crash, so... Went slightly too far to the left. And that was the case of a restart. Finally got the first corner good. For a nice drift, really inside there, so we can get the better angle. Keep the gear. 
couple break chaps. So the final part. jump without. All right, that's nice. So, pretty interesting map. A couple tough transitions in that one. Will be enough for Orc Metal. Let's move on to the next one. <clears throat> what was that thumbnail there? So we have a reactor start, which looks like you will be able to get that zoop I was talking about. So what map is it? 17 is notorious for being a zoop map. That is something to look out for. But a uh, bit of an interesting loop onto the transition off of ice onto dirt and then a very tight corner and then more reactors so a pretty full-on reactor map um something i have noticed which we talked about at the very start the maps definitely are different compared to last season which i think is good keeps the maps fresh compared to maybe stalling out with a similar style over and over again as we have a fast and furious ending hopefully that's not going to be a lucky ending but with those downhills, it definitely could be. But as you can see, I got that soup. I actually got it first try. So you can get, if you hit a, uh, hit the bump there on the top. Oh no, I fell off on this run. No. Um, you can sometimes get that really fast soup. As you can see right there again. So if you struggle for overtime on this one, it seems like it could be fairly simple with that small tactic. And it's at the very start. Okay, so 14 is essentially 8, but harder. And falling through. Yeah, it's a bit odd that that wasn't 8. It feels very much like the previous 8. Oh, that is a tight corner. Got the drift well. It might have just, yeah, wanted it to be harder and felt it didn't yeah, fit yeah. the um, difficulty. No! Let's just finish, just in case it's not. It's definitely not going to be. Ah. Oh. So as you can see, if you get the transition on the ice at there, you will unfortunately have to restart. But now we can affect the map here already on a nice game. That's a very tight corner. The zoop. Get the reset. Get the drift. So you want to start the drift early on that one, as you have the reactor into the uh, into the corner, which can be tough to control. There you go, yeah. a lot of speed into the end, and we get an ex fourth medal, nearly world record on that one. Let's go. Surprising that that is actually still gold. To okay. number eighteen, which is even more reactors. So lots of reactors in this one, by the looks of it. Um, I was looking at. Maybe there's going to be some ice, and here we go. Some nice wall transition. Get this Actually, smooth yeah, I am disappointed time. in the amount of ice so far. And we have Fragile, which people were complaining that there wasn't any. Now you have oh, it, no. and straight after, you have some icy tires, so that's going to be fun for everyone in matchmaking. We have a freewheeling, massive corner, and then a massive wall right here. That's going to be a horrible respawn in match. This map, there's going to be a few maps which are not fun for matchmaking here. And then we have, I presume, a final bit of zoop. Nope, reacted down. And we get to the finish line. Silver medal. Let's go again. So it's really only map 15 so far, which has been a proper struggle because it's been pretty luck based. It was number three, which was very tough at the start. Um, other than that, I think overall, the map's looking pretty fun. So if you struggle to get that part there, you can do a bit of release, um, which will... Well, the thing with that corner is you definitely want to straighten out and then smooth steer it um, off of having icy tires, because if you have icy tires, you do drift out a lot. Which is going to lose you a bit of time as we get the transition wonky there. Lose one. Anyone up to 15 yet? 
I'm I am up. loving it. Do you enjoy that loop? Isn't it great? Um, yeah, but I think I might be getting a... Yeah, I'm, I'm sure a, uh, someone by the end of the season my consistent strategy it'll probably even be within a week someone will learn that there's some consistent strat so maybe it's a good thing maybe like it's a hidden bonus that finally someone will work out the consistent way I was talking to I mean right now go on right now I have a, like a feeling that not going inside is the key yeah it's a bit weird like you gotta make sure you get the right angle yeah, I think like uh, on the exit you want to be on the inside because if you're on, the, uh, I mean on the outside because if you're on the inside then it's gonna like suck you in. But even still, and, uh, I was gonna say like my, on the beginning you want to be on the center. I try to. My fellow Aussie, Mr. Mudder, he uh, talked about this one day with him, and we had some discussions about if there was a consistent way, and he said that he thinks he found one. So. It really wouldn't surprise me if, at some point, there will be someone who can find that you can pretty much do it 100% of the time. As so we have a bit of a nice reuse backwards section there. Let's just full respawn. That's really bad. Um, also, for that last map while Jay was talking, um, make sure you get that ending smooth within that... Um, I think it's the red line on that last wall ride. That will really help you... Uh, get a lot of speed towards the end and then you can get the speed carrying all the way through to the end of the map. Well, we are on 19 now. Bit of a wacky map so far. Definitely struggled with a few things. A bit of everything on this one. With ice, grass, more road. You go up and over and around on this one. Pretty interesting style. You in the Ooh, style. this is going to be hard to hunt as well, though. Oh my way! So you have to jump this. No, at least you can go pretty high, I suppose. I was going to say that could be tough for beginners, but maybe it should be okay with a bit of practice. But we do get bronze, very slow run. But uh, let's finally pick up pace, get these drifts well, and I'm believing in the off time second try here to get a bad gear but shouldn't know too much miss that edge get those without getting air time get a lot of speed to make this jump hopefully this jump is respawnable for matchmaking I'm going for the no slide straps because I happen to set myself up for it but that's unfortunate with the zigzag on that one Uh, just practice one more time as these maps are definitely a lot harder this time so you can see how far the difficulty is ramped up really quickly what the fuck is this no big <laughs> <laughs> hey I think you both made it to 15 guys <laughs> really nah, he's on there, one. oh that's gonna be tough to avoid the end on oh that. no. As we get another bronze, but I know where we went wrong. Let's get both time this time. And that has to be on one of the ice maps. Are you joking? A bit of the slow grass, but it should be okay for both time. Just be happy. Drift. It's not an icy sausage, okay? Ice and sausage. What if that's the new block next season? So something we haven't I talked about actually. I would take any of that as an answer. Is uh, maybe there was going to be new blocks, but it doesn't seem like there's any at all. Uh, so probably in the one year update, I would kind of like to see it every at least half a year. But it seems like they have focused on some other things. Um, so that's ah, number sixteen finally. Something to look out for a bit later on. Um, definitely no new blocks in this one. As we do pick up another off time. Jay gets 15. What? Life is looking good. As we move on to 20, this could be quite a tough one. 14 is crazy. Oh, hitting the transition, but I was playing one-handed. Pretend that didn't happen. Came yeah, well, I've got to stay hydrated. 
Um, okay, a bit of a boost. This one's looking like it's going to be a bit of an awkward map time here. Oh my. Hmm, this looks very tough. And yeah, more dirt indeed. There is a lot of dirt in this campaign, so I guess they really are liking the idea of spring being about their yes. uh, dirt, winter being about ice, so something to think about in future campaigns or if you want to go back to previous campaigns this made me sad so we have our final jump over the yep trees not sure which one's going to be quicker and we get a silver overall do you want to oh well that's a release Why? there you go the more you know i was going to say you want to try and smooth steer between gears um, to gain that extra little bit of speed but maybe not as key as you do have to release very soon after what do you want to hit a bit of the booster there oh there's a ramp there uh... oh man this is going to be a rough map for me personally I do not like maps like this I think 14 is going to be a hard map to hunt. Oh, that's not good. you got to be joking. <laughs> I almost had it, but damn. Is that going to be enough gold? Bit of a scrappy run overall for me there, but still enough gold. How can you say we're going to work on matchmaking maps and you're going to put in a sausage loop like that? Yeah, it's a bit of a joke. So that was something that I'm very disappointed by. They did Everything literally works, confirm that, for this map. Um, so that they had in mind matchmaking. Um, but yeah, it seems some of these maps are going to be very rough for matchmaking indeed. As maybe they're going to like uh, towards the end. That's a they shame. just want to have people like hyped enough. up for like a pick and ban system. That and would then be they're nice. going to ban this map the entire time. Yeah, it, it, the, the first ban is always going to be that. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Nobody's going to risk it. Until one person, one team figures out how to do it, and they always want it. Yeah, I am cur curious to see if there is going to be a consistent... I can guarantee the Trackmania community will find somehow to do it consistently. Um, they're just but... going to instead to Uber it. Oh... <laughs> Wait a second. I mean, who knows? Maybe the shortcut is quicker, but it doesn't look like you would carry the speed through, which you need. You stay as outside as possible, or so what? You finally get this in clean. Don't get the last jump perfect, but it is enough for author metal. And we can move on to the final five maps with the Black Series. So these could be very tough. These could be uh, a bit of a mix. Let's find out. Oh, you stay as outside as possible. A bit of a heavy loading for this oh, one. I and thought so too. Can't... I didn't work. And then I forced the push. What was that to super the at the ending of 17? Yeah, man. I do wonder if there's going to be an even more extreme zoom. I got all that. for battle. Nice. Yo, congrats. But that was a terrible run. Oh. So they actually made oh, the offer. Oh my, these team. are some... I can already see the ramped up difficulty. So beginners are definitely going to struggle on these, I think. I mean, this is the very first run for me personally, but I know just from general experience that some players do find these kind of stuff quite difficult. But there is a reason, I suppose, that these are the Black Series. As you can see, difficulty turns up to 11. So lots of transitions. Uh, 21 had some pretty spicy cuts in the previous campaigns. Not sure if there's looking like there's going to be in this one. Which is a bit of a shame. I enjoy cuts. Um, but who knows? What's the other road? Hmm. That's not what you want, boys. That's what you want. And that is enough for bronze. So, 
looking like you're just going to have to learn how to do all these with the right drifts, the right amount of jump height. It'll be quite a lot of fun to hunt these for me personally, but I will... I do want to know from a beginner perspective what it's like for these maps. I think a lot of people struggled with last season's uh, last few maps, especially 25. So if they have gone even more difficult this season, that's a bit rough. I think they're a bit difficult. Uh, actually, a bit more difficult. Even just and like just, the uh... beginner maps, I think, are somewhat more difficult. Well, one and two are definitely easier. Yeah, well, the first five, I suppose, are just kind of to get yourself to learn those styles of surfaces, but... It's hard to tell because we're so good at, like, the old ones. And then we're, like, new on these ones. You know? Maybe those were hard. Yeah, but I'm just looking so at it from a perspective of everyone. And I know that a lot of people, from what I got told in my channel at least, that they uh, struggled with 25, for example. Mm. And just from Time. general looking, these look like they're going to be a little bit tough. If you just confirmed there that you struggled with 25 last season, for example. Yeah. Oh, that was Found close. That. Is that enough? I think it's mostly be... just the side on the end that were really annoying. So we can move on to 22. This has been a full speed map, and then has been a bit different, and then another full speed map. But we have a bit of ice, and then we'll have a box slide here with transition onto dirt. Maybe a bit of a cross mix map for this one. And if there's a shortcut jump down this looping, thank god it isn't a sausage loop. 17. A bit of an uphill ice, but pretty good feeling with the extra reactor boost there. Even more reactor, even more dirt. We have a looping, so I guess this is looking like a full speed map, but this time changing between dirt and ice, which is something you don't even really see that often, so that's quite unique. I like it. Hopefully the map could be a lot of fun once you start to get the hang of it. Ooh, we have a dodgy looking ending with some poles though. Just because Nadeo. Probably not enough for Ortho. It isn't... It is top 5 in the world though. So I guess that's something. Alright, it's time to play 15. Oh no. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish good luck to every single person watching right now with number 15. I wonder it if wasn't there's a... that bad. Jay, hey, you got fucking lucky. Try. If you get a first try, you're lucky. <laughs> That's the only solution. I got it my first try, but it wasn't enough for the gold. And then I bumped my head like 78 times. So, good luck. Yeah, remember when I said something about, like, I, I kind of figured out a strat? Yeah, I, I tried it eight times, respawned, and uh, it didn't work. Um, I, I was just lucky. No, 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 your skill. Full skill, man. So we did get a unfortunate hit on that uh, so, um, bubble block. So, um, you're going to be pretty mad at me. Yeah, I know you got lucky. You got lucky on two last season. We know you're the luckiest person in this call. It's all right. We understand that. So people now are lucky. I'm on 16. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. What the fuck? <laughs> well, someone's at the end of 17. <laughs> I did a barrel roll at the end of 17. <laughs> I like how we can just tell what map everyone's on. Trickmania's ready to play. I'm playing already. <laughs> I have had that pop up a few times. Yes, what same. is that end of 19? Let's avoid Why? hitting this edge this time. Get this swing transition. A nice drift falling through on the inside. Maybe let's cut it a bit earlier this time. And 
go for a drift before we even go through the checkpoint. So we can hit this booster. Yeah, Double booster. What the and that's gonna be it. Yes. Here we go. This ending, though, is so scuffed. <laughs> I feel like on, on 16, someone made a good map, and then Nadio was like, just put some poles here. And here, and here, and here, and here. And here's another day of Lifestar Next. right there. We know and love it. Ooh, we actually have some free building on this one. That's interesting. I like that there's a bit of a... Uh, a bit more... Uh, open mapping in this campaign so far compared to some of the last seasons which seems like it was quite strict with this is going to be a dirt map this is going to be a snow map kind of thing ha I beat F on so free mapping is one of the things you can build in this game which means you can place blocks in pretty much every single angle which can make some nice maps. Speaking go. of nice maps, that's a nice pole right there. That's epic. This map has no. indeed got a lot of poles. Let's move on to a second wall ride. Jumping down. It's a final straight, I'd imagine. A risky finish. Oh my. These maps, you can tell, have ramped up in difficulty. As we That's get a, a bronze. Risky oh, bronze medal right there. Alright, I'm on 17 now. Let's do this. Look at that one pretty quickly, I bet. Let's go outside poles just for the sake of it. I'm surprised I went inside pole on my first I thought attempt. the reset block was also doing something to, uh, to fix your icy tires, but that's apparently not the case. No, I don't think so. I thought it used to be like that, but then I got told that it wasn't. Oh, you... Uh, ho, 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 ho. So much speed for the fragile. Wait, I've just noticed something. That doesn't look respawnable there. That's interesting. I'm just kind of thinking about matchmaking as well. Gotcha. Can we hit this? Oh my, that couldn't have been close. And that's only gold! I got world record and it's only gold. Oh, no, no, no. So we go again. So good luck to the beginner players on these kind of maps. Whew. You really don't want to go full speed or something, I guess. At the fragile of 18. <laughs> you can, but... <laughs> yeah. You don't need to. You can, you, you can tap release. Yeah, I released a few times. It's going to be interesting when the world record does it, but once it's hunted. But we'll worry about that at the end of the campaign. I hate the start of 17. Uh, what, what is the start of 20? I keep hitting the sign with my full speed. <laughs> Probably not full speed then. So. And if you lose the gear, uh, you're not going to make the jump. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So with this one specifically, you want to try and get your drifts really quickly to gather as much speed as possible, carrying them all the way through. I'm gonna, oh, I didn't full risk. 18 at least is once there. so crazy. As we get go to the final ending, and we do hit it. That's got to be enough. And we move on to the very final map. Here it is. How hard? How long? How fun is it going to be? Let's find out. No! I've debated myself. We're on 24. What are you doing, man? <laughs> I'm getting too excited. I want to see this 24, but we... Uh, 25, but we have 24 in the meantime. Bit of a simple start. Oh, I've missed that transition. That's going to be a restart. Pepe point, simply Nick indeed. I'm just liking this campaign so far. I'm just getting excited. I'm expecting a lot in this last map. Oh my, that scenery is going to be very scary. Looks like you can nearly jump through that final uh, one on it. So we have more transitions. Jeez, these are some tough looking maps. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a spicy map. Reactor. Ooh, we have some flight simulator. 
Anyone a fan of flight sim? And then we have a runway. Jump onto the rest of it. And then we have some yep trees. Nice. What a Nadev style map right there. Oh, I couldn't have had a worse respawn there. Would you grass slide that? I was about to say. That's looking like a potential grass slide, which is where you hold acceleration, brake, and whatever direction you want to go. And you'll go for a nice slide. Maybe we can try that on our next attempt. If it's looking like I've got the setup. Oh, team. Yeah, I was going to say team Geo identity. Haha. <laughs> But 1 minute 20 on this one, 1 minute 30 even now. Towards the end, there was a lot of mistakes, but even pushing oh. quite a long map there for the second 17, I was like perfectly flat, like perfectly straight at the end, and it's just like, nah. Yeah, you had the move. exact same thing. Isn't it great? Isn't it fun? Big barrel roll moments right there. Ooh, we have oh. the right speed. Let's see if we can full speed this and what's going to happen. Oh, <laughs> sheesh! That was close. I hate seventeen. Okay, the safe route. Oh, my home is hate seventeen. I didn't. I actually don't remember what map was. Me neither. It's bad. So maybe a bug slide potential oh. wasn't the greatest setup there. Let's take this very smooth and easy through the bushes. We drift off the grass. A nice drift here, as we forget that there's a corner there, so I probably will have to respawn once again, but let's continue. Maybe it is enough. I definitely don't think so. Oh my god. Long straight to the finish. That and there's a bonk potential. So, good that I tried it. So we have seen that that's what can happen. As the PF on this doesn't seem to work. That is epic. So there's something which you can do air brake. Just tap the brake. And it seems like maybe it's even just a bit of a random start. That's not fun. That's only silver. <laughs> What? Well, I don't like that. This is looking a bit random, this start here. Now let's just continue. Let's avoid the yep trees. Let's avoid the yep backflips. Wicked backflip. Oh, that's not going to give us our author time. Are you on 25? 24. Oh. Number 24. <laughs> this Fucking guy. <laughs> Let's just go that safe jump. I wonder if you can cut some of this as we get a horrible jump here. So let's go for the bug slide strap. That is the bug slide there, but doesn't seem like it carries a lot of speed through. The pole part at 19 where you go over the sausage. Hmm. Ugh. I wonder if you can cut that. It'll be a bit of an awkward angle to carry, like, to get back there, maybe. I am so. not sure if I want to even try the outside or inside line for those poles on 21. Uh, go again. Struggling a little bit on this second final map. I'm gonna go for a release here so I don't hit the top. I'm gonna force this. 19 oh time. my, it's paid off. 0.5 gain just in that. Let's hope that we don't get a stupid jump off here. Doesn't seem like it really hits the top. Back in the start of 19. With all these yep trees, take this a bit slower just in case. 
Ooh, hitting a slight bit too much. Dark grass to slow down. Let's take that safe as well. And let's hope that this is enough for all the time. <laughs> and that's not enough. Oh no, 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 no. That must be really close to all the time. So lots of risk value in doing some of these sections here. It is, yeah, of course it is. I can tell when it's like really close. Got that a lot better this time. Even getting a little bit of a jump, maybe you can uh, even skip that a bit. So we have our wonky landing. Oh Please don't God. overturn. Oh, that is shit. Hmm. Let's just keep going. Nope, that was bad. Ah, a bit of a rough one here. Getting quite unlucky. 113.6. Oh, I'm not that close. I was expecting 113.8. Yeah. So we do get that lucky star. It does give you that little bit of extra time. Even in just that, we can get a little bit towards our off time. So I'm not sure about this map. Seems a little bit wonky. Some of these reactor transitions, for example. I don't like 19 so much. I like the start, and I don't really like the second so half. We avoid the yeah, same. That's kind of what ruins it for me. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like one person made the start, and then like he went on holiday, and so someone else had to pick <laughs> up the, the other half. Yeah. Oh They're my like, god. Um, reactor? Uh, poles and uh, <laughs> the gel. Yeah. No. Oh fuck! I gotta go again. I might not so be able to finish unlucky, the man. I'm getting so so unlucky right now. So not the quickest speed run, as much as I was hoping. Maybe it's helping some players to try and learn some things to avoid maybe some of the drifts to get. This start I still don't like. I hate that this is going to be a restart simulator just to get this start, right? Just like that. I didn't do anything different. <laughs> Oh, you gotta be joking me, man. This ending as well. Oh, yeah, I can yeah. notice that they upped difficulty on, like, Black Series. Yeah, man. Jeez. Good luck with those drifts. They, uh, will come in crucial. We're on a good start here. Right. Let's hope that we don't get the zigzag. So, if you jump off there without turning. It will help you to avoid what? getting a bit of a wonky uh, jump off the top. So we are at an identical time right now. Let's just go ultra safe. Hopefully, don't get a wonky landing. On this one, I will go for a bit of a release here as well, so we don't bonk and secure it with a point one. So it is time. It is twenty-five. Here we go. I saw a lot of levels here, and for those who have played Nations, this looks like a similar Nations map. 
It's definitely not the same because there was a uh, block at behind the start line, if it was the same. Oh, it's definitely why? getting a very similar vibe. I cannot remember the map. Maybe... Have, uh, it's four? Mm, I can't remember the number. Someone in chat oh, can yeah, definitely two. correct me. Nick, you got lucky on the uh, 21, just saying. Which one's 21? Uh, it is the one with the, like, uh, Swords of Jumps. Like the first Black Series. Uh, I can't remember. If there's like a long pulse in the middle. Pulse on the side of the Swords of Blocks. With the two grass wall rides at the end? Nah. Risky finish. Okay, I can't remember it then. Oh, we have a Fragile, which you have jumps. Are you kidding me? I don't know. Uh oh. Hopefully, that's not going to be as bad as I think it's going to be. That's an F tier map for me. <laughs> well, people wanted some Fragile. That's. You're getting it. We didn't. No one wanted that. There are a few people saying it. And we have oh. a funny looking, bumpy ending to the finish line. Not as long as the previous Winter 25 map. Which is pretty good. Uh, um, okay, I gift 19 one more attempt, and if I don't get it, then it's just. I'll leave it at it. Definitely a bit of a transitional lap. Let's keep a little bit of extra speed to get this drop down as well. As you can see, my other car. Maybe a bug slide potential there, but probably would lose it on the uphill. Yeah, definitely a nation's EO something vibe. Which is kind of cool. It's uh, an interesting map design here. We can go for this risky jump now. Ooh. Drift. Can I remember the rest of the map? Not quite. Because I didn't have to release that much or drift that much. Let's go into that fragile part. Hopefully, it's not as bad as I'm thinking it might be. Oh my, it is. It actually is. I was perfectly nice. turned there, and then it got me erect. So, that could put it indeed in the F tier. Not a fan of that. It's so fragile. Wow. But maybe I somehow get lucky and get off, but I don't think it's going to be enough with that mistake. Is gold. We go again. So it's EO4 have been confirmed. So that is Imagine two maps EO4 which obstacle, but it's bad. have been reminiscent of our nation's map. Go for a bit of a timer turn, see if it's effective. Seems pretty similar, maybe slightly more. Get this one for a smooth transition, can be quite tough. That's a good. I just realized I have not stayed this even a single time in this uh, video or, you know, this uh, session. Um, pause check. Uh, 25, my dude. I'm about to get off metal. So this could be the final pause check of today. Oh, and we nailed the fragile, so this should be it. So where is Yuvo and Mr. Pormal at? I'm doing? on 20 at the moment. That's pretty Same. good. That's pretty good as well. I haven't skipped anything. I did skip. I am now on 21. Nice. Well this done. Surely, I've been stuck here for a little while. Surely enough, oh, that going, was man. a really, really solid run. I've missed something, obviously, because that was a fucking perfect run in my opinion, and that ain't enough, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. So we go again. Really gotta have your perfect pants on for number 25. Yeah, try something. That did not work. Oh, I like the start of 21. Oh, no, I don't. 18 and 9. So it was very close, yeah. It had to be Maybe pretty fucking close. So just gotta get a few transitions a bit quicker. A bit more perfect. Definitely not effective. 
tried it a second time because I was on a bit of a slower run. Getting slightly less airtime on these transitions will help to gather a bit of speed. Even with that one, for example. You can see we're already at point two ahead, which we need. But I go too risky, and I will try again. But um, while I'm playing oh, through this, man. what's our thoughts? I'm liking most of them. There are obviously a few obvious problems with it, but overall, seems pretty good campaign. I think most of them will be fun to hunt, I hope. Um, yeah, that's the feeling I'm getting. Most some of them, of them seem pretty good. Um, some of them don't seem... I don't know. I think with the, they have definitely have more, they could build it a bit more freely this time around. Um, but with that Let's I go. feel like they could have done a little 22. bit more. Ooh, different tactic there. That's Jay, it does get a nice author medal, right on Jay. full risk as we do need to push a little bit of extra time here this will be enough off metal if we ac ending we do know this part though is going to be enough oh no oh no that's so far into the map as well what the fuck were they thinking with some of these things in this campaign Really good maps overall by mostly what it seems, but then some key issues like this Rajar. There's a reason why they don't get used that often. E.g. sausage blocks and... Rajar. That we are healing this run, oh. so as long as we can get the Fragile Where's God. the ending to 21? Should be enough. We have to slightly release it, hopefully we don't lose too much pace. Ah, for fuck's sake. Don't worry, you're gonna love the ending on 22. Send right. that on 21. You seem to like these maps, Jay. Ah! Um. Really good, except for the ending. You guys haven't figured it out yet. Um, I had a lot of difficulties with 21 <laughs> for some reason. The Black Series has really, really stepped up the difficulty, man. But there we go. Uh, that is the, is the new on. campaign, Spring 2021. That was yeah. um, overall pretty good. Definitely a few Maverick maps of in terms of why the fuck did they put a sausage block in 15? Why did they put a fragile in 25, for example? But I think most of these maps are looking fun to hunt. Um, how I often play is go pretty hard for two weeks, then don't return, give it a massive break, and then return in the final few weeks. That's where I find it quite fun. Um, but I think if like you set a goal of just progressively doing it over the three months, it could be pretty fun any final thoughts from you guys what do you think of the campaign so far I'm only yeah, the maps that 21. i saw were like really good um i think they yeah, weren't in indeed they like two couple odd ones or oddities in the number pack. three or well, the otherwise metal, real good. very tough you've got it you've got to uh get that gear it's gonna be make or break on, the, on number three um but first few maps really fun a lot of dirt in the campaign quite a lot of reactor blocks as well i wasn't expecting that many reactor jumps so hopefully that's not going to cause too many zoops which are when you gain so much uh speed out of hitting for example what was it was it 14 maybe i can't remember the map you guys the did see it yeah at the very start of the map Oh, um, um, 17. 
17? Oh, I think, yeah, I think yeah, it might have been because I'm 8th place on that as well, so <laughs> you can tell by just getting a good start on that, it can help. Um, so hopefully there's not too many of those in, in the campaign, it really ruined a lot of maps. Uh, number 2 especially in the previous campaign I did not like, because it just felt like luck, you just got some random zoop. Um, 2 has a zoop in the end, so yeah, it could be the same for this situation. But from first playthrough, I think most of them look pretty good. Um, yeah, just a few things like that sausage block and fragile. Not a fan at all. Um, but we'll see how it plays out, I suppose. Um, In essence, I'm just very happy that they completely changed the format for every it, map. Yeah, I was about to conclude on that it's good to see that they finally gone away so for the three previous campaigns it has been very similar styles as i said for example with 11 it's a full speed uh has a red booster it's night time it like all campaigns are very similar with that um but it seems nearly every single map is unique for this one, like you've obviously got similar ones. 14 has uh, the tilted grass box, which we saw in number eight of Winter Campaign. Um, but I think with them being very different compared to last seasons, it's going to make them more enjoyable to play. And uh, with matchmaking, I suppose, it could uh, spice it up a little bit compared to having a very raw Nadeo style, I suppose. But, um, yeah, hopefully most of the maps raw are Nandos. respawnable um, for matchmaking. I think how they do it is the first 15 maps are available for, like, unranked and bronze, um, and then they start to add the final maps. Um, so the beginner players definitely can practice those first 15 before hitting the more difficult maps um but yeah overall from very first play maybe by the end of the season i won't enjoy them but from first get go i overall give it about an eight out of ten some of the things are a bit weird maybe a nine out of ten it's good it's really good that it is unique i'm, I'm glad that they finally progressed from the stale similar styles um, I think it would have been quite repetitive for the fourth campaign in a row. But um, I think I've said most of my final thoughts. Any final words from you guys? Uh, we haven't discovered all the problems with these maps yet, so we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it could be... Discover some stupid gear somewhere. It and could be, be like, pretty ah. crazy. Um but yeah, go follow on Twitch. It, uh, I will be hunting these, as I said, definitely a lot in the first two weeks, a lot in the last two weeks. Um, but if you need any help, feel free to comment, feel free to come over to Twitch and ask. Always here to try and help. Um, I think I'll leave it there. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And um, thanks for watching. Do subscribe if you're new. As I said, check out the Twitch. It really does help out. But uh, cheers to that, have a good one, see you for next season, and bye-bye for now. Bye. Bye. Bye.